Welcome to another exciting Read Aloud with Dilly. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy this story. Today I'll be reading Brave Nanny. Nanny was a queen of the Maroons. Long, long ago, she was brought to Jamaica from Africa as a slave. No one asked Nanny if she wanted to come. They grabbed her and took her away from her family. Then they threw her on a ship coming to Jamaica. When she got to Jamaica, they made her a slave. Nanny did not like this at all. She did not believe people should be slaves. While she worked, she kept thinking of how to get away from her master. She saw the hills and wanted to go there to live. She heard that other slaves were living in the hills. They were called Maroons. Everyone was free and nobody was a slave. Nanny began planning how to run away to join them. So, one dark night, when everybody was sleeping, Nanny picked up her little bundle and quietly slipped away. She was not afraid of the dark. She was not afraid of ghosts. She was not afraid of the slave masters. She just knew she wanted to be free and she was ready to do anything to stop being a slave. So brave Nanny ran away and joined the Maroons in the hills. Many, many years later, she became their queen, their warrior queen. Okay, boys and girls, here are, some, here are some questions based on the story. Where did Nanny come from? A. America B. Africa C. Cuba Where did Nanny run away to? A. The hills B. The town or C. The village Nanny was A. Afraid B. Weak C. Brave. The people living in the hills were called A. Maroons, B. Morons, C. Voltrons. Many years later, Nanny became what? A. A senior slave, B. A warrior queen, C. A trader. What does the word Africa tells us about A. A river B. A country C. A village What does being brave show, show us? A. Shows us how to be strong B. Shows us how to be weak C. Shows us how to be cowards Thank you boys and girls for listening